We cannot see the angels with our physical eyes, but they truly exist. They are created by God out of pure love. All of us have a guardian angel that God gave us at the very moment of our conception. The Catechism of the Catholic Church in paragraph 828 makes it clear about the existence of angels. Quote, the existence of the spiritual non-corporal being that sacred scripture usually calls angels is a truth of faith. Angels with their whole being are servants and messengers of God because they always behold the face of the Father who is in heaven. They are the ones who do his word and hearken to his voice." Unquote. There are many times that angels are mentioned in the Bible. Here are a few examples of their presence and their purpose and their role in salvation history. At the Annunciation in which the Archangel Gabriel announces to Mary that she will be the mother of God. During the birth of Jesus, the angels announced to the shepherds in the field, there's the resurrection. The angels are present in the empty tomb. One of the primary purposes of guardian angels is to communicate to us light. We have moments of darkness, of obscurity, of confusion, and of a certain spiritual blur, which we need to call upon our guardian angels to cast us out of darkness and to guide us back to light. The Catholic Church officially celebrates the presence of our guardian angels today, October 2nd. Guardian angels are always waiting for us to call upon them for assistance. Let us turn to our guardian angel and beg for the grace that they would guide us through moments of darkness and guide us back to the light and the presence of God. Let us pray. Angel of God, okay. my guardian dear, to whom God's love is committed me here, ever this day be at my side to light right. and to guard and to rule and to guide. Amen. Amen.